Hello everyone, welcome to Sports Kabri, Kiris Hari and Arun Foot. Guys, I mean, honestly, I think we should just stop predicting. Like, why, why do we do it? Why do we do it? We, we should just stop because clearly nothing's happening uh, based on our predictions. It's, it's been a great um, playoff game we've, uh, we've witnessed so far between Odisha and uh, the Blasters. There's more to come. That's the fun part. You've got 30 minutes of extra time, potentially penalties. Um, I don't know, isn't this what we live for? Cup comp, cup matches like this and uh, exciting games like this. Good evening, everyone. Uh, certainly. I mean, um, you know, that's why I said yesterday, despite all of us thinking that Odisha has the edge, Odisha has the advantage, um, you start from 0-0 zero, zero, and uh, both the teams have the opportunity to try and create something out of these games. And so far, um, interesting game. Uh, Odisha, to me, looked rusty. Kerala Blasters had the better opportunities, but we go back to one thing that we, you know, sometimes see in Indian football is is, is the lack of finishing, and um, yeah, but again, it's a one-one, and um, yeah, I think Odisha, to some extent, can be happy to be still in this game. Yep, as we speak, um, we've kicked off extra time, Hirian. Uh, yes. What have you made of the game? Uh, what do you expect from this extra period? I think uh, Kal Jomla Bath Kiti regarding the mentality, character, and the younger players' uh, role. I think Tino Chise, Ajape Merapolotai, Kerala Bastarne. I think uh, Tick Mark Ki, I think Chistras of the K, Moma Deman Kapokmoso, Freddy Kapokmoso, Vibin Kapokmoso, Gormi Pam is a right back of the Kiti. So everyone stepped up and uh, that sold in their performance, particularly second half. The way they played in the second half, they could have easily. Finish this match in 90 minutes. They have a better chances. They have a more clear cut chances. And uh, I, I think brilliant, brilliant. This is what we uh, missing in the second half of the season from Kerala Blaster. And uh, Edre Luna is also now on the pitch, so that's also a great boost. And uh, I, I think if uh, Dimanta Kos was there, I, I think uh, they have done, uh, done in the stretch this game because they clearly lack that number nine. If you see that Federer mm-hmm. is chances missing and everything, if there is a number nine. Definitely, this uh, game could have been uh, finished in the 90th minute. But overall, a very good game. I think this is uh, what we want to see as a neutral uh, <coughs> to fight from the Kerala Blaster. It's not like he, it's just a one way of Odisha. So, I, I think it was a great game of football. Yep. Um, a, a ongoing underwear, and it's, uh, it looks like the Blasters have started slightly better, even in this extra time period. Your thoughts on what to expect from this? These 30 minutes? Um, to me, is um, you know, um, it's it's a question also of fitness now. You know, which of the team, um, um, you know, to me is a very important one to see which team is the fitter of the two. I found it interesting that um, Odisha have gambled. To have Toiba and Narinder now as their centre backs, that's an interesting one. Even though one has to say that Toiba pass for the equaliser, that was world class. And you know, mm-hmm. you get it to Roy Krishna, and and uh, you know, and and also that Ayman pass to to Fedor Chenik. Um, you know, those those two, you know, uh, those two passes from from Indian boys were really really class. Um, and it's a it's for me it's a, it is now a fifty fifty because. Um, It'll be interesting to see. Again, it's hot, it's humid. You see how much the players are sweating, right? I mean, the jerseys are sticking to the bodies as well. So, therefore, um, it'll, be, it'll be interesting to see who has the better fitness and, and you know, who is able to, to sustain uh, also this, this pressure of, of playing 30 extra minutes. Yep. Um, you guys think the quality of football has not been up to the bar? Kirin Samya Mukaji thinks so. I think uh, if they, he is comparing with the Mohan Magar and Mumbai City game. Obviously, if you compare it, you will have a little bit of a But I think it, it was a very competitive game, to be honest. I think, uh, and, and there is a, you, you uh, can't say that there, there is a huge difference between Mohan Magar and Mumbai City's gameplay and this game. They also do this kind of, you can say, miss passes, long ball and everything. It's not like he, they are playing on another level. I, I, I don't see, there is a, you can say, game. La, uh, large difference. There may be a definitely uh, li- uh, difference, but I, I think this was this game also is a very good game. I don't find it uh, you can say a low quality. Yeah. Um, 
and uh, Jahu trying to sort of get control of the midfield and slow things down for uh, Risha. I think he's going to be the guy he's, who can probably uh, be the key to creating a couple of chances in this extra period. That's the quality of Ahmed Jahu, right? I mean, you, you saw that one with the, the corner goal, which wasn't given, of course, rightly not given because it was a double offside. Um, you see how smart he is as a player. You know, you've got very few players of that class. And and the interesting part, I think, will also be now that uh, uh, Panji and goal will, have, will be tested. Taranjit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I hope Lara Sharma didn't... We've been, we've been speaking about this, going off at the right time. I think they should have taken off before the corner. In the worst case, I think something's gone in the knee. I might, I mean, he might have gone in ACL or meniscus or something might have you know, mm. uh, gone in that corner. So, so, so another example of uh, wanting to do something uh, for your team, but which might harm you. And he's a player on loan, right? And, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, so, so therefore... Oh, um, and, and, you know, uh, Sai Goddard, Drinchich. Oh, yeah. Um, so therefore, that's something um, you know. So it's interesting to see what happens. Yep. Yep. Irene, uh, five minutes in. What do you think? Yeah, at the moment, so, I mean, both both the team are uh, looking like the starting way. So fit, so key. I was saying, like, I think, uh, and uh, fitness will be the key at the in this uh, extra uh, extra time. I think that will be tested because uh, there there is a. Uh, and avoiding mistakes, I think very important. Mm, exactly. Mm. Yeah. It does look like Orisha have regained control and they're they're moving it around. And it's interesting, huh, That those long balls are actually reaching their men. Huh? That's an interesting one. Yeah. Which is Odisha normally likes to play the ball grounded. Today these long balls are actually getting to their you know number of times they've gotten there. Oh. And Roy Krishna, I think. What is what is Lenny doing there? Why don't doing? Yeah. Ah. See corner though. Oh, oh, Jerry, wala bhi chance kya miss kiya tha usne first half end mein. He should have passed to sorry Isaac. Isaac, he should have passed to Jerry. That was a clear cut open goal. Emirana Vadawala of Betri Nek chance for Nathan. So, Odisha also had their moments. Yeah. But uh, I think uh, Kerala Blaster had more moments. Today, Mohamed Eman was brilliant. Ojo Mortada Folko Jistras Usno, Ojo clear cut open goal, Jistras Uste Paskia. Brilliant. That was a brilliant touch for me. Well, it is looking like Odisha are in control somewhat. Um, they're playing in the opposition third fairly often mm. enough. Roy Krishna. By the way, sir, Freddy, Freddy looks really impressive. Jixon ko start nahi karwaya and Freddy ko khilaya. He looks really, really Chance. impressive today. Oh, no, 2-1 oh. Isak. Ho gaya gaya. Huh. And a very good goal. And another one from Roy Krishna, huh? Across yeah, the yeah. Uh, mouth of the goal. Yeah, that was a beautiful cross because first time to put that, bring it down like that and play that cross, what a cross. Now it's a mountain to climb for Blaster. Yeah, Blaster. Good goal though. Yeah. But but Sandeep has been caught out a number of times. Huh? He, he, uh, he is the worst defender in the back line for Kerala in, oh, in this match. Wow. Out of was his that, foot. Huh? Did you see was that? that no look? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No look. No, uh, sorry, yeah, no, was, no look. <laughs> that was class. Huh? Yeah. Was so first half may be a, this, first this may be a question. And, uh, first half may be a no look pass. The other one. <laughs> Sergio Lovera has gone all Jurgen Klopp. <laughs> but come on, let's see. I hope the blasters at least get back. You know, we wanted a little excitement. Yeah, but I don't know why, but it does look like Orisha suddenly 
I just feel like they'll control the rest from here. Yeah, and and the thing is, uh, blasters now have to risk. So the question is, yeah. how what will they risk? And do they have it in their tank? Yeah. Mm. Ooh. And I think important for Odisha to also not go and completely sit back. Like, I think yeah. they need to trust the fact that they have better quality and really kill the game. Where is this goal going to come from, guys? If it does for the blasters, where is it coming from? Either, either from a foot, the body, <laughs> or the head. Or head. Ah, <laughs> that was his question, right? Uh, <laughs> so, uh -huh. Which player? Which player? Acha. Okay, now you're a little more precise. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, don't yeah, I, think don't know one of, I think one of the young Indians. If you ask me, I don't think Luna will be. Yeah. I don't know. Luna is is. You realize that Luna has not played enough in recent weeks. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think. Do no goal jo Kerala blaster ne kashi. Hey, that's a back na. pass. That's that a is a back pass. pass. That's a clean that is... back pass. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is he, oh, why is he not giving oh, that? Oh, 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 referee, referee, referee. Harish Kundu. Harish Kundu. I'm impressed by Roy Krishna. Roy Krishna, all all these runs. Oh, Sandeep. Dono goal me Sandeep ki galti thi. First goal me bhi wo matlab usne bilkul wo kya bolte wo nahi dikhaya. And there, there you see Naucha missing, huh? Ah. Ha. That's the. I'm impressed, Roy Krishna at this age. Again, two assists. Um. Yeah, and the question we were discussing last night, no, who's going to play? I think answers himself um, in regard to why Diego Morosio didn't start. Again, the commentator spoke about it as well. You know, the heavy strapping. So, so therefore, that's the reason why Roy Krishna was 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 played. But I think if you see this match or the 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 recent game, Roy Krishna is more effective on the wing than as being the focal number yeah, nine. Mm. Yeah. And I think I've always liked it. Know, even at BFC, when we were playing, so BFC used to play with two strikers. You had Shiva and Roy, and they used to sort of play wide-ish. And it was always nice because Roy has that pace and it's a very underrated, I feel, element of his game. Yeah. Yeah. And and again, he's, he knows, to, he finds the gaps or he creates those gaps. You know, that is, that is what, you know. That is very important. I, I, think always get, I always, I always, I always get confused with Ayman and Azar. and then I'm always Azhar. looking for the number. I'm always looking for the number of the two. To which one? Which one? Ah, is ah. I, I love Ayman. I think I poof like he's one guy who's he really looks like he can become something. He has the potential. But you know what? One problem I have with with all with with these players is again I I I lack the. The physical sight and the height. Mm. If you want to get them yeah. to international level, that would be the question to ask. Oh, Narendra, why are you clearing? Oh, Vipin, lovely turn. That's why I want to see the under twenty threes, na? Under twenty threes with Vipin, with uh, with Abhishek Suryavanshi. You know, those guys need time. I think there are some interesting talent coming up. Yeah. It was nicely done by the Blasters. Oh, yeah. Oh. That was a great chance. Brilliant. Brilliant. I think uh, it was uh, Adrian Luna's close. Yeah. Yeah. And well worked. Well worked. So 
So last minute of this half. Balls in. Oh, dangerous ball in. <clears throat> Who can be the Kai Havertz of Indian football? Um, now, I don't know what Samya means. I hope this is a multiple position player kind of question. I don't know. Kai Havertz, Kai Havertz to me oh. is... Kai Havertz to me is one of those players where you actually need to find the position for the player. He's not a number nine to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Anybody of uh, his versatility, you think in Indian football, who can play a num as a number nine, play in midfield? Like he's obviously more comfortable in midfield. But anybody who's versatile, I don't no. see anything as versatile as that. Yeah, and who has that technical abilities? I think that's the one thing yeah, that even nobody speaks about the guy. The guy is most probably Arsenal's best technical footballer, even better than Odegaard. Mm. Yeah, yeah, very, right. very so, good. So, but again, you need to have those players around, and I think you know, Kai Havertz needs to be needs to be playing in a team where you have two or three mentality monsters. You know, mm. that's something I guess that. Arsenal are missing at the moment. So, yeah. yeah there's, there's only one guy who is a mentality monster, I think, Arsenal. Other than Declan Rice. Do you think, I? again, we are drifting away. Um, <laughs> but if, if, if Declan Rice is your mentality monster, then th I thought on Wednesday, you know, that was a baby monster. I uh, know. I think the issue with Arsenal was Jorginho wasn't good. Like he was very poor that day. And Declan Rice, the reason for his success, a large part of it has been when Jorginho has played, he has done well, and he was really poor that day. And I think, yeah, but Declan but, point, Rice, but he needs to then up his game as well, right? And that's the thing that I think that has been the biggest problem for. Um, yeah. For them, right? But anyway, we're, we're drifting away to another <laughs> conversation. <laughs> A minute to go in uh, first half stoppage time. Yep, Odisha. Um, it, 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 the Blasters have managed to create a chance. I think they need just one more opportunity, at least one more good opportunity. Here in. Definitely, definitely. I think still there is a 50 minute left. So let's see. It's all to play for, no? I think that that's the main thing. It's all to play for. The question is, what kind of risk will the blasters take in trying to? Yeah, you know, it, it in the end to me it doesn't matter. You know, uh, if you lose two one or, or three one or get a two two. So for me, even if uh, um, I, I back, I just asked. Oh, the sorry. Question. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I also want both of you. I think the questions for both of you. If the blasters do end up losing this, would you say, okay, you know what, you guys did well uh, with the with the, the problems you had, and um, I'll give you some more time, and you give Vukmanish more time. Is that something that you would consider? No. <laughs> yeah. I think you know, no. I think you know. I tell you why because I think there, there's a question of cycle, and I think um, mm. to me. Um, the the coach has been in his in his in his statements a little too too negative in the last few weeks and months, right? This whole injury thing is again you are not the only coach who's suffering from an injury problem. But again, have you heard it from Habas? Have you heard it from uh, 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 Peter Kratky? You know, I mean, Manolo has been also a little bit on that tangent, but he seems to have moved away a little bit from it. So therefore, again, I I, I don't see that. This is a reality of every team in in in, in world football, uh, be it at the top level or be it at the lowest levels. You will have three, five, seven, ten. I know, I understand. Again, every injury was serious. It was it ended the season again, and then the logic doesn't work. If you're saying that this it's, it's a season-ending injury, hey, uh, Adrian Luna is playing for you again. So that logic to me then doesn't work. So therefore, yeah, it's they're getting away with too many of these things. But anyway, that's a different conversation. Yeah. In your chance of a comeback, you think? I think uh, it will be difficult. It will be difficult now because I think uh, uh, now Odisha FC will try to manage the game and, and to waste the time. So you have to be very, you can see, quick to score, score that goal. So 
Let's see. Yeah. So I'm just saying last game for Vukmanovic. Hi, Raj is saying and taking a dig saying, can we uh, take a minute to laugh at uh, the blasters? He's saying Rahul is not allowed uh, because didn't qualify. But Raj, at the end of the day, my trophy cabinet speaks and there's unfortunately it doesn't. So yeah. can still have a laugh. But Rachit, we uh, can laugh at him because of his uh, North London stuff. So, yeah, yeah, that that you can. Because <laughs> it does, it looks can like laugh, it'll be a. I think we can laugh about English thing. football. I think that's that's the more more concrete thing that yeah. I, you know, that's a that's a yeah. big you know. Uh, uh, it was now all the guys, <laughs> either the coaches or the managers of the German teams, have been you know calling. Oh, you know what? These guys used to call us Farmers League, but again, ah, okay. <laughs> You know, and uh, you know, and and the joke in Germany was, of course, West Ham did cause some problems to Bayer Leverkusen yesterday. But again, at some stage, the referee allowed wrestling to go on. So the question is also about. And we talk about ISL referees. Yesterday's referee between West Ham and and Bayer Leverkusen was so bad. You know, I wouldn't even allow him to 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 be a grassroots referee. You know, a Europa League referee was so bad. It's like. Uh, Antonio was just wrestling around. I don't know if he was trying to do UFC or something or WWE, but he wasn't playing football. And he was and he got away for playing 90 minutes. Disgrace. But anyway, let's not get into that. I'll get into a tangent then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Antonio is that type of player also, weirdly. <laughs> oh, chance. Oh, that was a decent hit as well. I think it was... Yes, Daisuke. Uh, yeah, new angle. In logo ne add kiya hai wo drone angle. I think. Aaj do baar maine dekha in logo. Good chance though, guys. Well worked again. That was a lovely pass. Brilliant, brilliant chance. Was the pass from Ayman? Ayman is out. Sorry, Azhar, Azhar, Azhar. Azhar, Azhar. I, I made the mistake as well. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that was a lovely pass. Oh, Drinsik, yeah. I know we spoke about this yesterday. The need for a shield, like the need for two trophies in the same tournament. I think yes, because I think in an Indian context, if we did not have the the... Uh, the ISL Cup or the ISL playoffs. Um, for most teams, um, it would have been a season that is over by, I don't know, November, December. November. Some of them would have been over by November with no ISL playoffs. So, therefore, there's a lot to play for. And otherwise, yeah, it, it gets, it could potentially get very boring. Yep. So. And you wouldn't have games like this. Exactly, exactly. Or, or you know, we wouldn't have games like uh, last year's uh, very famous Kanji yeah. Rava match. Yeah. It doesn't feel like it's a it's a year old incident. I don't know why. You 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 feel it was. Sandeep Singh yar bakkawas khel raha hai banda. Feels like it was yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, I, I I think so, Rachel. I think uh, Spain did me well. Otherwise, BFC. Oof! I was. I mean, unfortunately, for following what BFC was doing in from there. <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah. Luckily, I wasn't in, in India. Otherwise, yeah. Are you? Are you? Are you? Um... After this season, what's your? I mean, we will talk about those things later. But what's your summary regarding BFC this season? Well, I think it's been a bad. I think it's the BFC's worst finish or something. I, I, if I'm not wrong, um, ever in the league. So, yeah, I don't think anything else has to be. I think it's been a bad season. I, I think to start off with, Simon Grayson wasn't your guy. We knew that before itself. <laughs> Sanjeev, yeah, is the player. <laughs> Hiren is. Hiren has a new favorite player. Hiren, are you backing? How can we do this? 
Are you moving to Kerala by any chance? Yes, yes, definitely. I beg Blaster for ten minutes. I want to see penalty spell. He didn't want something. <laughs> Uh, the furious, the furious Harry is back. But how can he? Do? I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, guess I, yeah. There are some of players; they are not uh, even high league level ready. Uh, is a uh, conversation, yeah. Is there? Is there? So, do you guys have a theory as to why the Kerala Blasters jersey is yellow? It's not a very common jersey you get to see, so I don't know why, but you do not. It doesn't. You know no, I don't know, but I'm guessing banana chips has something to do with it. Oh God! I don't know. Also jumped onto that whole. <laughs> I don't know, but what, what, it's like the, it's like like color. people are online discussing that FSDL is controlling AFF and the I League and all that stuff. It's like guys, really do you? Uh-huh. Do you, no, do you no, know no. what is actually happening again? Sir, again. sir, the, the, is that uh, true that they that uh, 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 you can say Namdari and they that fee of lateral entry goes to FSDM? Of course not. How can they? <laughs> Arey, boy, there is there is this agenda of of you know saying certain things in a certain way, and there is that everything. I mean, you've watched the show that I was part of, where certain people said certain things. Okay, that's the reality, na. That we don't live in the real world, na. <clears throat> people construed, and my biggest problem is I actually wanted to put out a tweet today, which I didn't in the end, where I said, you know, Indian football fans should be a little bit more careful what they are putting out of there. You know, opinions are fine, but if you don't know things, right, to speculate on things without knowledge is a big problem, because then suddenly everyone is speculating, and this is a bubble that pe- there's this bubble of people who think they know stuff. And they don't have a clue about what's happening in Indian football. Sorry to say that, you know, yeah. really annoys me. Really annoys me. You know, knowledge can't be re- uh, replaced with speculation. At least to me, mm. you either know it or you don't. And the most people don't seem to know and don't and don't understand how the system also works. You know, how how you know how things are constructed in a certain way. That's my biggest problem. Maybe we should, you know, once the season is over, we we'll do a show on this. Yeah. <laughs> And then I want furious uh, Harry in top form. Very cool, very cool. Meanwhile, guys, the hey, blasters. Hey, yeah, guys. Are you cool, yeah? I just got to put it in the corner. Are you open sort? He didn't really want a penalty shootout. Hmm. It's the first time I'm seeing him. Oh, मेरे मैं नहीं नहीं वो मजा आएगा ना सर मेरे मेरे से पहले आपने देखा वो कमेंटेटर कर्स कैसा हुआ जैसे कमेंटेटर ने बोला कि if they hold for 10 minutes then there is a no single seat available in the coach stadium and उसके तुरंत बाद and they will, and they will have they to and they, tomorrow morning they will have to employ more people in the ticket office हाँ हाँ उसके बाद तुरंत इक्वलाइजर आया All <laughs> <laughs> right. Seven minutes to go. Just over seven minutes to go. Plus X. Plus stoppages. Yeah. So those those of you who are watching. Uh, let us know and write in the respective chats of the three channels uh, who do you think is it is it odisha who moving on do the blasters still have a chance to at least get this to penalties or maybe even turn around let us know your thoughts guys and also as always uh, you know like all the channels yeah uh, like all the videos I, I... subscribe to all the channels that's the right way and of course hiren hiren needs to get to 10k uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Hiren's... 10k treat is also pending like i mean uh, he like, wanted I'm to give us good indian football news but uh, again it's not as long as it doesn't get to 10k it's not happening yeah so, uh, sir mere mere ko lagta hai ki agar kerala blast ka goal aayega to penalty se aayega i don't see a open goal a open goal has to be somewhat of a luck factor i think no mm-hmm. some cross into the box some second ball but that is that, for but for that you have Uh, now, uh, um, 
you know, your best player, Adrian Luna. So if you have Adrian Luna in this situation, he should be the. But again, to me, again, he doesn't look fully fit. So that's a that's the problem I feel that Adrian Luna is not there where he could should needs to be. Fascinating game though. I think it's been a nice game to watch. It it is it hasn't disappointed. Hmm. No, it was better than expected, I guess, right? Because it was yeah. Blasters have performed better more, than more people thought they would. I actually, I I actually think this uh, the Goa Chennai game will be won't be as good as this. I I I, I, rest in time. I I think tomorrow oh, yeah. could be an interesting match, which you are underestimating, Rahul. No, no, I, I mean, I there's don't a, want to. There's actually, one of the most exciting playoff matches that I've ever watched was uh, in, in the stadium at the Fatorda, was the final in 2015. Where, where, Goa, where, Goa, where Goa had actually won, everybody was, the party was ready to go, and then, you know, the nine score two and take away. And the, literally, people, I mean, people around me were crying. Literally, they were crying. And then you had the fights, they had everything. Uh, uh, that, that was an incredible uh, match. Uh, I think um, I didn't watch so, the IS in that season. Incredible, incredible final. The uh, Pan wants a penalty. Many, many be. Ah, many be come dekha tha, lekin wo final wo wo matches match maine dekha tha. That was. Many, I think because BFC was still in the I League that time. So. Ah, so. And and I remember I was on the wrong side of the stadium and had to walk around or from the outside. It was insane. <laughs> it is ubawa. Oh, it was yeah. I go on and saying, uh, yeah, last few games, long matches, yeah, man. If you've especially been watching the Champions League games, you must be tired. A single leg. I can't know it's a single leg. This is, that's why you've got extra time now, no? Yeah, this is a single leg. Ah, uh, Igor from Croatia. Hello, Igor. I hope you're doing fine. You still have an India visa? Just checking for a friend. Huh? Or has Hiren stopped your visa? Could be a topic for Furious Harry. Huh? Does Ego Steamer still have a, uh, a visa? Yeah. That, that would be an interesting one. Uh. Vignesh coming on. Yeah, to shore up the defences. Huh? Isak. He's done his job. He's got the goal. Yeah. Even though oh, Isak was another one of those, huh? His first touch was bad today, huh? Yeah. I felt. Very bad. And his decision making was even worse. You know that what Hiren was saying, mm-hmm. no? That ball where he should have played to Jerry M. And Jerry could have then. Just showing the no look pass from Emma Jao. I mean, the audacity to attempt that with the game tied at one all in extra time. Come on. <laughs> ah, Rachis, great, great statement. <laughs> um. No, I don't. I think I can't know. I don't think it's the problem of the quality of Vignesh. I think it's just that Jerry uh, Larinzwala was better. Simple as that. Yeah. Does he and need to go elsewhere? See, I think that he was. He does. He's, he's another one of those buys at Odisha. Uh, you know, of players who've played under Lobera. It's like Sai Goddard. Yeah. You know, who's come in as well. Um, so therefore, yeah, it's 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 one of those players who's come in because they know the coach. So therefore, yeah, let, next season will be interesting to see. And I think he was one of those ones who also wanted to get out of Hyderabad, right? So there Come on, last counter. Bag le bhai, bago, bago, bago. Come on. No, but the, Aray, yeah. Didn't make the pass at the right time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Khatam. Khatam, khatam. Last minute chance. Good ball. Ooh, good header away.
Okay, guys, last minute of extra time. Uh, we've got stoppages left, of course. Hmm. Yeah, he'll play one or two minutes, na? Right? Yeah. Uh, one, eight, eight, to meeting. Acha, mission is no World Cup mission is half twenty twenty five. Okay. Oh, now counter Sai Godard. Sai Godard. I mean, he's got a lot of space. Flag. Nah, he's gonna he's gonna go to the flag, huh? Ah, oh, it's a foul. That's... Ah, it's a foul. It's not a foul. <laughs> and he's he's got a number of them which he's not given today, huh? Ah, oh, that was harsh. Very harsh. Oh. That was another yeah. foul. नहीं नहीं ये फाउल नहीं था ये जान बुझ के गिरा हुआ है नहीं 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 डेट्स अ फाउल डेट्स अ फाउल बुझे वाला फाउल लगा आई मीन लेट्स सी द रिप्ले लेट्स सी लेट्स सी ये फाउल ही रे हंड्रेड परसेंट एंड यू नो इट्स इट्स अ कार्डबल ऑफेंस या इट्स अ कार्डबल ऑफेंस इट्स नॉट इवन जस्ट अ फाउल इज � Three minutes, huh? Three minutes. That's a good chunk, actually. I thought. Mm. Did you guys see the ball? Seconds. Yeah. Okay. Arishkundo sure. also want a penalty shootout. There's a three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not given the fouls too, huh? Ah, he see, see, who, who? He also wants a penalty shootout. <laughs> Good ball, Luna. Penalty, then. Oh, are you? Yeah. Good one, Vignesh. For that, he came on. <laughs> For that, yeah, he booted it. Absolutely booted it to the other end. Mm, corner. That's the Adrian Luna Bastards. moment. Yeah, but you can see, huh? Luna is not fit. Yeah. But this is oh, that's oh. Yeah. Ah, I got it. Doesn't get the ball to. Okay, last minute. Where is Vibin going? Is he playing it long? Vibin has gone to a throw-in, but he's down. No, 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 Amma is down. Amma is running away, is down. Ah, okay. It's gone long. Now they have the chance to counter. What are you? Oh, oh, Lenny Rodriguez pickers and good pass also. Here goes Vignesh. Oh, that's a go! Oh, who is the bar? Oh, 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 that was a good one. Weakness, weakness, weakness. Three minutes gone. Yeah, end of. Uh, He's got already his whistle in his. It's over. Bukmanovic. It's over for Kerala Blaster. And that's I think. That's... I think again, even Bukmanovic has given a lot to Kerala Blasters in the last three years. Hmm. But I think if the club wants to go to the next level, I think they need another coach. Yeah, if I, yeah. you know, and that's something he's given a lot to the club. But sometimes you have to wake up to reality again. What the FF doesn't do, I think Kerala Blasters need to do. Otherwise, you know. Yeah. Oof! No trophy in three years. Econ alone. Yep, that's right. Um, Jin, your reactions to this first. I think uh, definitely Kerala Blaster अपने हाथ में जो मैच था उसको उन्होंने गवाया है after that second half performance 
they could have easily easily could have scored two three four goals easily and after taking a one day lead they are defending defending really well but uh, there is a little bit you can say lack of focus and uh, you consider that goal and after that you know extra time i think uh, again a mistake in uh, back line from sandeep so i would say in first 90 minute the house should have finish uh, finish this match easily if they converted or finish uh, their chances and um, mm. i think a big big let down for kerala blasters they have put up a good fight that's a great to see after uh, you can say not your main player available divan takos and adrian luna in the first half but i i, I think they should have won won this match in the first 90 minute so uh, definitely it's a disappointing performance for kerala blasters uh no you think blasters should have won this game yeah. i am not as confident as you know as some people are saying yes they did have a few decent chances especially in the second half but it wasn't as that clear cut i felt you know i was also watching and you know when the commentators were saying yes they did have two three good chances but on the other side um uh, odisha also had their half chances here and there so therefore you know yes the blasters were a little better there but they weren't that much better i said they had to win this after 90 minutes i think a 1-1 is actually a decent result after 90 minutes for this game Yeah, I, a very very interesting game. I think two one. In the end, uh, my luck saying Lenny. Yeah, that was a lovely bit of work towards the end of the game. Uh, we enjoyed that. Uh, didn't get to see the walk. Yeah, we didn't. It's because they were leading this game. <laughs> so, yeah. Ah, uh, what do we say here? And where do the blasters go from here? Because now Odisha progressed to the semi finals. Not talk about Odisha, but just want to talk about the blasters itself. Where do they go from here? Because this they're, they're back to square one which is uh, not this season but they've made it to the top 5 6 like they always do but it's just not happening go back to the drawing room simple as that and uh, need to change some of the things uh, one of them is definitely the future of coach uh, dimanta kos uh, sorry uh, ivan mukonovic and also dimanta kos future is also in uh, is up He is also not willing to, you can say, ki extend the contract. So I think those two will be the big decision. You already have a Noha Sadoi for next season, um, and uh, I, I would I would say they need to sign some good Indian backline player. I I think uh, you can't go with uh, uh, this player and uh, Leskovic replacement. I think you uh, you need to find. So there are a couple of changes they need to make. and uh, let's see how they are going to plan next season but definitely this season is dis- disappointed for them because aapne uh, shield ki race mein bhi aapne fifth way finish kiya you are out of the cup race uh, you are out of, uh, out from the super cup in the group stage uh, itself and uh, you didn't do well in the durand cup also so in that sense overall uh, a very good first half of the season uh, uh, to finish uh, first on the table but uh, overall if you consider season i think i think it will be a disappointing season yep i think that's uh, quite clear we have spoken about the blast this season and i think it, it is not a successful one in the end anuma uh, mon bagan against uh, odisha fc we've got some history already going uh, excited for this mm-hmm. certainly and uh, just to answer um, deepak das earlier deepak, uh, asking yeah. uh, about diamanta cos diamanta cos was injured so therefore he didn't play because of that um yeah i mean that as is, as you say there's history behind this game um this season um, um you know and uh, uh, mon bagan have one advantage that they have had a break after you know very tough game on monday but odisha have 120 minutes in their legs and uh, they will have to go again in 5 days even though they have the home advantage but again kolkata odisha or uh, kolkata bhubaneswar is, is is less than last flight so it's just around the corner um so therefore for me if odisha wants to take something out of mohan bagan they'll have to do something at home you know mm. so they they are, they are under pressure to 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 win the game in 5 days but it's going to be interesting because again it's going to be lobera varas versus havas we've had this a few times in the past in the isl uh let's see what happens yeah i'm just to take my needs comment as well i think i we've already said it i think regardless of whether they didn't start the season as favorites 
I think it's not a successful season because if you're a Blasters fan, you're looking at one trophy. It doesn't matter really where it comes from, I think, at this point. And it's just got to come and it's not coming. Um, yeah, Chennai win tomorrow would be really interesting. He rain. Uh, tomorrow we've got the other playoff game. Um, what are you expecting from Goa, Chennai? I think uh, similar things. I think it will be a uh, lot more competitive. And uh, Manolo Marquez versus uh, Owen Coyle. Uh, another two experienced ISL coaches. Uh, Owen Coyle uh, proved himself uh, again. And uh, it will be a great match, to be honest. Uh, no doubt, FC Goa at the moment looking favourites with their current form. But uh, I think, as uh, we said yesterday, that Odisha FC are looking favourites. But Kerala Blaster put up a very good fight. So, I think uh, with Owen Coyle's team, I think uh, one thing is uh, sure, they will put up a very good fight. Another for, for you, yeah. Game. Um, I think, I think for me, um, what happened last Sunday doesn't count in the sense of that was sort of the B teams playing. Tomorrow we'll see a different game. The question is if um, uh, Goa can play their natural game on one side, and will Chennai be in a position to, to mount a second half come, comeback? You know, um, and and to me that is something which I feel, um, yeah, would be very interesting to see if 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 they can really, you know, uh, do what they've been doing and own call teams have been doing that. And, and the thing with Manolo is is he depends on uh, Noah Sadui and, and Carlos Martinez getting them goals. You know, I think I think for Goa, um, a one nil lead will not be enough because Chennai can come back. So I think they will need two goals to to to, to take into a lead into the last sort of. 15 minutes of the game. Other, otherwise, if it's 1-0 for Goa, we've got a cracker of the last 15, you know, 15 minutes to come because I think Chennai are the comeback kings at the moment in the ISF. And the neutrals are backing Chennai. So, it'll be, it'll be fun. Uh, uh, Hiren, uh, who wins this? There is always a tendency that the people who think that they are weak, they say that they are weak, they say that they are weak, they so definitely that's the case with the Chennai and FC at the moment. Uh, because FC Goa are looking strong in uh, every aspect at the moment. Their front line is firing. Their uh, back line is uh, recently done a well compared to you can say, uh, starting of the second half. So um, I think uh, they are looking at the moment favourite. But I think Owen Coyle and his uh, I think um, mentality will be the key. How he is going to prepare his team. And uh, I, I think it will be a KG game. To be honest, I don't see it's a high scoring game. I, I, I'm seeing that as a KG game, and uh, I would I would favor uh, FC Goa will go through. By the way, is, is match my prediction sahi raha hamara? My, my prediction was two. Oh yeah, in, FC versus true, true, true. yeah, but, but you said without extra time. But you said without extra time. So so, ah, so but I said, said it's I remember. Ah. I remember. Ah. We, we so it's it's a 50 percent true, fifty percent wrong. Ah, so so it's either hundred yeah. percent or zero, not fifty percent. <laughs> <laughs> score line score line is right. Score line is right. Uh, um, I know, but score line was crazy. after after ninety minutes was one one. That is what counts in the stats. So therefore, your prediction yes. was wrong. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> technically, 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 that's wrong. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I know I'm Sergio Lovera because just before I ask you for your prediction, he's not so well. You see, what is Sergio Lovera's legacy so far in Indian football? Because will he go down as one of the best to ever coach um, in India? Certainly. I mean, Lovera has, yeah. has won the shield with Goa. He's done the double with Mumbai. Um, Odisha, which was an OK team, a mid-table team, has taken them to be one of the top teams in the league. He's taken them to the to the intercontinent interzone of you know uh, of of the AFC Cup. I think Lobera has done a magnificent job wherever he's been, and and yes, yeah. he is again. He's one of them. Habas is another one of them. Owen Coyle now comes to that. You know who have shown uh, what they can do, um, and um, yeah, it's it's very very impressive. Yeah, and who wins this uh, between Chennai and, um, and Goa? Because there's there's an overwhelming favorite in Goa. 
I think it's a 50-50. Even though Goa have home advantage, I think it's a 50-50 game because it's a knockout. Uh, Chennai have have the means to to stop the FC Goa attacks, and they themselves have counter offensive options. Um, I think it depends a lot on the foreigners on the night. You know, it's again, it's it's Carlos Martinez, it's it's Noah Sudui on one side. It's certainly uh, Rafa Crivellaro for them. I think Connor Shields has improved dramatically over the last few weeks for Chennai. Uh, Ryan Edwards at the back will be important for them. Devjit has been Savejit again, as it used to be called at Mohan many years back. Um, Dhiraj has been shaky. Um, we don't know how, how good the FC Goa defensive. Borja Herrera again is another one up front. Will be. So, therefore, there are a lot of subplots. Mm. Yeah, for me, sir, uh, I think I think uh, Connor Shield will be a very, very important for Chennai FC. Because the work rate and the way he is performing, I think, uh, is, is really brilliant to see. Mm, Deepak says, uh, Gut says Chennai surprise. Will be interesting. Uh, Anwar, your scoreline prediction for this? 2-1 Chennai. Here. Yeah. Two to uh, at the one twenty, it go, go, goes into the penalty shootout. And who wins oh, the penalties? Wow, okay. Who wins the penalties? Doesn't matter. We just want to see penalties. Then, 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 I, 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 I would love to see a Chennai win tomorrow as well. Uh, but let's see. Let's see what happens. Uh, I will just take this one from Rajasthan. Do you think Chennai has two centre-backs? Uh, foreign centre-backs? Mm, I think so. They could, actually, yeah. And then they have. So, yeah. That's, that's possibility, likely. But yeah, guys. Uh, what, a, what a fun game we had today. I just want to say I, I, I really liked... Um, the Odisha Blasters game 2 1 in favor of Odisha in the end. Um, I'm sure you guys enjoyed it as well. We've got another good game tomorrow night. As much as people are saying Goa will go out there and do that, this Chennai set suddenly looks a team and looks like they can give uh, Goa a run for their money. But yeah, guys, um, thanks everyone sort of for joining in today. And we will be back tomorrow after the game. And if it does go to ex- a good extra time and penalties, we'll be doing the same thing. So yeah. Thanks, Irene. Thanks, Arunab. Please do like and share our videos. Subscribe to all the channels as well. Um, Sports Comedy, Kiri Sari, and Arunfoot. Good night, guys. Good night, everyone. Good night.